As kids get ready to return to school, historic inflation still has a firm grip on some of our daily essentials, from gas prices to food and now school supplies. Various national reports and surveys find parents will spend between $600 and $900 on school items this year, an increase compared to 2021 and a significant jump compared to pre-pandemic school spending. That's why Governor Gretchen Whitmer is proposing a sales tax holiday for back to school shoppers. We know that this is a quick way to help a lot of folks that are struggling to pay the bills and get their kids ready for another school year. If approved, Michigan will become the 20th state to allow a tax break. As of now, Ohio is the closest state to Metro Detroit that has a sales tax holiday. It would not only help parents, but also teachers who buy supplies out of pocket save hundreds of dollars. And that's why if we get rid of the sales tax for the next couple of weeks, give people some relief that they can feel immediately was they're checking out. Um, this is something that, you know, is, is uh, a way to recognize how tough it is and to give people the opportunity to keep a little more money in their pocket. Well, not long after Governor Whitmer announced her proposal, Tudor Dixon, her Republican opponent for governor, said on social media that the move was too little too late. We asked Dixon to elaborate. I would say that she is trying to make a political issue out of school supplies when she was offered multiple times to give people actual tax relief. It's unfortunate being an election year, there's going to be a lot of jabs and a lot of ugliness and attacks. I'm not going to get distracted by that. This is a good policy that has been utilized in a lot of other states, Republican led, Democratic led. But as a way to give people some meaningful help when they need it now more than ever. Now the members of the legislature are back in Lansing. Governor Whitmer hopes that they can discuss this proposal by Wednesday and get it approved as soon as possible. Brandon Hudson, Fox 2 News.